This is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel, exploring visualization part two. Today's stream, we did updates. We've been completing several brass tax music visualizations and started to explore some ideas with what we can do. We have one called Periscope, which looks like this. So the idea here is the upper blue is the volume of the drums and the lower red is the volume of the piano. And what we liked about it was having a different shape. That's why I call it a periscope through which we're seeing these beats. So that was one experimental visualization that we did. The second one that we did is uh, we looked up a demo file And what this is doing is the upper line is the melody, the green at the moment, middle line is the backbone, which pretty much trails the melody. And then this is the chords. It's not showing three notes for the chords because it's picking one note out of the three. But it does make a nice uh, visual effect and we don't have any drums to go with it. But we do want to explore the MIDI idea some more. And the thing that we spent the most time on today is um, what we called the black and red transitions. And we learned a bunch of new stuff doing this today. First of all, this is uh, this is what we call the drum black view, and it goes like this. And it's called drum black because it's only putting the rack, floor, snare, and kick into uh, the visualization side. And we still don't know why some things are so loud sometimes and not so loud other times. And we uh, are using the 80 to 320 hertz and the MP3 files to drive that. Then the trail black basically adds this part. It adds blue drums, and red piano, actually it's not drums, that should say melody, blue melody. There you go. So it's the melody up there and the uh, all piano is coming there at the bottom. And that looks like this. Then we go to drum red, and it looks just like drum black, except we're kind of inverting it. And then trail red here. I still don't know why that says. Has melody on top and chords on the bottom. And then it shows that. So that's kind of cool. I know why it says drums, because the last file had drums. Now the thing that's new that we did is we learned that we could make a playlist and make it switch between the drum black, the trail black, 
the drum red and the trail red and we timed it these are five at five seconds 24 seconds and so forth and this is a additive dissolve and it's a one second and we just click it on pay, playback control and then we uh, start it at any moment now so this is the black the trail black And in about 31 seconds, which you can see right here, 20, 30, it's going to turn drum black, boom, automatically, and then trail red, and go right back into the red. So we had a lot of fun getting to this. So we, we actually set out, as in our one of our ideas, was... Uh, somewhere sequencing in visualization so we, we were able to do that and it took a while for us to get there and um, we learned a bit more about tuning images learned more about working with MIDI track channels and the window and playback control so that's this whole thing has been called visualization part two and our ideas for next time are to get to a composition in 3443 three, and maybe do some more uh, visualization work where we're pulling in demo files. When we, what we mean by that is there's a whole bunch of, um, not here, this program comes with a whole bunch of sample projects that, that we did. And we used the, the MIDI file example today, but there's all these others for us to work with. So uh, we're going to take, we actually made a video of that final one here, yeah. and we're going to post it. So we're not going to play the whole thing for you here, but this is what it's going to look like. And when you get somewhere down in here, or here, And we kind of just let the drums take over for a while, kind of like a drum break. So that concludes today's stream. And we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thank you for your attention and interest. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>